Okay, this technique is called capturing the storm. Uh, the storm being another club technique. This is an overhead club attack. So the person's coming with an overhead swing. The left leg is gonna step off the line. We're gonna use a double cross hand block. Right's gonna be on top of the left. We're gonna stop the oncoming attack and then immediately shift into more of a side stance as I release the force, grabbing the hands of my attacker back, controlling the arm that's holding the weapon. Okay, that's borrowing the force as I shift from a neutral stance into a forward bow, hitting them with the weapon. Okay, from that position, I step to the 45 degree angle, past my opponent's legs, and uh, I take control of the weapon by disarming, stepping again with the left to 1030, and then dropping in as I settle with a strike to the back of the elbow, and then a ricochet in the back of the head. I then continue that motion and strike the outside of the knee. Okay, so let's take a look at that at a different angle. My left leg steps in, I stop the oncoming attack, I shift, borrowing the force, controlling the weapon, and then shifting into a forward bow, striking the opponent back under the knee or the shin. Stepping forward to the uh, floor of 1030, 45 degree angle, stepping, going underneath the arm, yanking the arm as I settle down and strike the back of the elbow, back of the head, and the outside of the knee. Let's take a look at this on Sensei Game. We'll make a lot more sense. So as he comes in, I stop the oncoming attack with a left foot forward position. I continue shifting my body uh, and torso, borrowing the force. Now, very important, I don't want to release uh, and, and uh, detach contact here from, the, uh, from, from my hands and the opponent's arm. I want to stay with it here. So I let this travel, opening my hands up and my thumbs will be facing each other. So my right hand is just gonna open up and grab the top of his fist, and my left is open, grabbing the bottom, controlling the fist, locking it into place so he can't drop the weapon. I continue this motion, borrowing the force, striking him uh, with it, hitting that forward bow position, and then continuing to the 45 degree angle as I disarm, taking the weapon, yank the arm as I step back to the 45 and settle with the downward strike to the back of the elbow. Then I ricochet into the back of the cerebellum with the strikes, and then side of the knee, okay? Let's take a look at this from a different angle. As he comes in, lock, I redirect, shifting my torso, borrowing the energy and force, striking him back. Traveling to the 45, grabbing the weapon, settling with the strike, strike to the back of the head, and to the knee, okay? That's capturing the storm. The key here, the timing, the minute you stop, you shift, you borrow, you transition, step, pop, pop, and then bam. So practice that. Uh, a lot easier on a real live human being, but work on that footwork at home. Capturing the storm. Cheers.